wood and how we use it and not what you're thinking you dirty minded kid that crit viewer we, we review, review children's, children's books so you don't have to kid lit crit today we're going to be reviewing what do people do all day by richard scary scary is known for his famous fictional busy town and his illustrations are just that busy you can say that again about it being busy when i was a kid i thought that this book contained the sum of all human knowledge about how to be different professions i thought Maybe this was like how to be a plumber, but pipes don't really go that way. I thought if I studied this, I would know how to build a house. So I'm still a little mad at Richard Scarry that doesn't really contain the sum of human knowledge. But it's a cute book. It's pretty good. I think kids will like it. Did you just give an honest to goodness actual review about an actual book that we're doing on our actual book review show? I think it's pathetic that you've spent your whole life misinterpreting books, but, but you just actually gave a legitimate review about a book that we reviewed together on Kid Lit Crit. You didn't do any conspiracies or any crazy theories about anything in the book. I'm so happy, I think we can just go through any theory that you have about this book and I won't even argue. Really? That's my own. Sure. Yeah. Everyone is a worker. Communism. Building a new house. Union corruption. Naturally. Mailing a letter. Government bureaucracy. I don't. Okay, nope, just, we're gonna keep on moving through. Firemen to the rescue. The firemen burn books. Okay, that's a totally different book called Fahrenheit 451. A visit to the hospital. Obamacare. This book was written before Obamacare. Okay, nope, another problem. The train trip. Hallucinogenic drugs. Hallucinogenic drugs. You said no arguing. Okay. The story of seeds and how they grow. GMO crops. What? This Book was written right before GMO crop! No, arguing. Building a new road. Global warming. How do you even make those two connect? There's rain. A voyage on a ship. Overpopulation. Okay, I'll, I'll take that one. Where bread comes from. Trouble with our baking industry. I mean, Pigs and bread, worms and bread, gluten. gluten. That was very rewarding and satisfying. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, definitely. What Do People Do All Day is a delightful book that has absolutely nothing to do with any of the things that Dan just mentioned. Kids are sure to enjoy it. See you next time. Very, very busy and we've got a lot to do when we haven't got a minute to explain it all to you. For on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, there are people we must see and on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when it's busy as me. With our most important meetings and our most important calls, then we have to do so many things and post them on the walls. With our most important meetings and our most important calls, then we have to do so many things and post them on the walls. Wood and how we use it. Want to see how I use my wood? Oh, groaner foul. <laughs> and yeah. a brown bag foul. Yeah. A voyage on a ship. Overpopulation. Okay, I'll actually take that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. The motion of the ocean. I'll take that one as long as you retract that and the weird way that you said it. <laughs> a voyage on a ship. Overpopulation. Okay, Bill Cosby, I don't <laughs> think I'm doing a review with you. What do people do all day? Oh, that's know. right, that's right, that's right, okay. Sit home and play with my wood. <laughs> <laughs> Gluten.